note, uh, let's keep the discussion alive and stay far away from EA and instead <laughs> into Activision territory. Sure. <laughs> oh, much better. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, yeah, it's hard to believe it's we're coming up on the one year anniversary of Call of Duty Warzone, um, March 10th, actually. So a couple days from now, uh, yeah, a year ago, Activision and Infinity War, they launched their second Call of Duty Battle Royale, uh, learning a lot of lessons from uh, Black Ops 4's blackout mode. Um, and Warzone's now become like a giant competitor in the uh, Battle Royale space. Yeah. Uh, I mean, at its core, Warzone is very much reminiscent of other battle royales, uh, big and small. But I think it had the advantage of pairing it with like the cutting edge first person shooter gameplay. Um, mm. And then even looking back on it, it did introduce some interesting twists on the genre that other other main players kind of took. Like Warzone introduced regenerating health, uh, larger player counts, and then the Gulag as well. And now over the course of nine seasons. You know, they delivered more content, new weapons, skins, various modes in it. Um, I was reading a report that uh, as of January, Modern Warfare and Warzone became the highest earning premium game of 2020, generating mm. almost $1.93 in revenue. That's a lot. And wow. Insane. Insane. And I mean, yes, they've had a lot of ups, including like, you know, the haunting of Verdansk event and kind of these bunker easter eggs that players can get into but there's also been a lot of lows i mean most notably the the community is very vocal on you know cheaters and hackers in the game and the fact that they're still using skill-based matchmaking and even though they introduced the train and the subway and now that they have like the latest shipwreck location the map changes just aren't anywhere near the scale of fortnite or apex Legends. so I know a lot of that came down to uh, COVID and delay yeah. in the introduction of a new map that was supposed to come out last fall, but it got pushed. And now all signs are kind of pointing that at the end of this uh, season that's currently running at, until April, that's when they'll start introducing the new map, whether it's you know the long-running nuke event that's been rumored and teased out over this past year, or it's just a brand new map, who knows. Uh, but I just wanted to open up the floor to you guys and talk about uh, favorite war zone moments or things that you'd love to see in the new. Oh season. man! So, Camille, like you're you're just like me. You have like that that one day a week that you that you squad up with your friends. <laughs> like, for me, it's oh, Friday night. It's every Friday night. Me and my friends drop drop into Verdansk. So I know. I love that. I yeah. I was just while you were talking, I was like, oh, Cap- I was looking at our B roll. I'm like, oh, Captain Price. Oh my god! Look at that, all the that <laughs> gameplay like. As soon as Call of Duty comes on, I am like zoned out, like zombie mode. Um, <laughs> and that's just what happened. So yeah, Warzone's been great. I feel like I, you know, there's this meme, you know, March, 2020 compared to March, 2021. And I'm playing the same game. Right. <laughs> it's Call of Duty Warzone for me. And you mentioned, yes, I have that one day a week. It's Tuesday, tomorrow where we jump in uh, to COD matches, we do privates, and then we go into Warzone with my friends. But literally every night I play Call of Duty Warzone. Like, that's how much I play. And I think for me what it was is I've been a Call of Duty fan for such a long time. And when Warzone came up, like, you had Apex Legends. I was Mm -hmm. playing that for a really long time. And then you had, like, PUBG was kind of, like, dwindling down. But battle royales were like this huge thing. And everyone was like, how would a Call of Duty battle royale work? Like, that's impossible. And I'm like, dudes, remember Blackout? Remember Blackout? I know people Blackout, but there was some great mechanics in Blackout that could work if they sure. just tweak it a bit. And that's exactly what they did. Even now, as you know, they're going into um, season two, while well, we're in season two, and now you have like the ship. And now you have zombies. Um, I love that we're able to look back at what inspired Warzone and sure. seeing it now in Warzone. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I don't know about you guys, but I'm I love zombies, so I want I want more of the zombies. Which okay, theory time, tinfoil hat. I sure. feel oh. like I feel like they are gonna do this. I feel like yeah. we're gonna see more zombies yeah. in in Warzone. The reason being when you look on your mini map and you look at shipwreck, you could see the zombies. Why would they do that? You could be all the way by the dam <laughs> and you're still seeing the zombies that are remaining on the mini map. 
I think that's a, such a cool way that they could have zombies just go after campers, people who are camping, those snipers that are just, mm-hmm. a, you know, in stadium. I see you. Right. Now it's hard to do that if a zombie comes. Like, I'm all down for anything that they're going to do next. I hope we see more zombies, but I think they've been really creative. And people like to hate on, like, these big publishers and developers that have done really well sometimes. Um, You know, I I tell people I play Call of Duty sometimes. They're like, oh, my God, you play Call of Duty? That's horrible. You know, like, uh, Mm -hmm. and you have to acknowledge the things that they've done really well um, that you see other games now doing. Yeah. Um, and, yeah. and for me, this is just, Warzone was that one thing that validated me as a Call of Duty player. So <laughs> I'm very happy to play COD and to be proud of playing COD because now people have less hate. I mean, y- yeah, hate. like you just <laughs> the success of Warzone is pretty crazy because every like since Fortnite had launched and had <laughs> become this massive success, every new like battle royale that come along would be it would be the question. Is this the Fortnite killer? Is this the one that competes with Fortnite? And Apex Legends, like, it, it's it's big. Like, it's a big battle royale. And people yeah. play it enough to where it's still so sustainable. And, you know, and it's always going to be one of those that's in the conversation. But it was never, like, on the level of Fortnite. It was never close to that. The only other battle royale that has come close to that, and I think even in some ways beaten it, is Warzone. Um, Warzone is this massive, massive battle royale, and it's just a textbook example of a dev team having a pretty cool idea, something that they know will work, and having enough money to back it, and Activision having enough faith to want to back it. Even Maybe not even enough faith, considering that they probably didn't know it was going to be a big enough success to where they kind of had to shift their plans for the yeah. next Call of Duty. Yeah. You know, they had to be like, well, listen, like we're going to release another Call of Duty game, but like warzone's got to be using modern warfare's engine warzone's got to be the same right, you know it's got to right. be the same maybe we'll put in the guns from Call- black ops cold war but it's still got to be the same gameplay that everyone has come to expect and now it's so huge and a lot of people still play it to this day they're still adding these events and stuff and i think yeah maybe it is time for a new map i hope they don't get rid of verdansk i mean that's mm-hmm. still no. that's still a great map but I wouldn't mind like a new no. map to try some new things to check out something, see something different. Like when they, when Black Ops, go, okay, Camille, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. like when Black Ops Cold War came out and they did the the smaller island, I was island a, yeah. yeah, I was having a lot of fun with that. Yeah. I think that was really Resurgence cool. Resurgence is still yeah. there, right? Like, yeah. and, and I, I actually, okay, Caboose, I get what you're saying. They can't get rid of Redance, but the problem is when you introduce other maps. Uh, And I think Activision understands this. When you introduce other maps, then your old map falls off, right? It loses that. It's not hot anymore, right? Um, But what they've done is they've had these modes, which sometimes they do it weird where you (laughs) have resurgence and you'll have duos resurgence, but it's only available for a week. Yeah. And then you only have resurgence available for quads, right? Yeah, Um, yeah, yeah. But I think that's something that they've done really well in. um, And I think that's where they kind of learn what to go, what to do next with Warzone, right? Through mm-hmm. these modes that come out and they're like, okay, yeah, people ever dance. We'll bring this out every Halloween. We'll, right. we'll tweak it, right? Uh, people like Resurgence, we're going to keep that. Like um, the Juggernaut thing, that didn't last long, right? Um, Thank even God. how they, <laughs> those horrible, but even how they have those in-game, um, like the supplies or no, sorry, the um, drops that happen or right, right. jailbreak, right? Yep. Like, that wasn't around when Warzone first came out. And now they're like, actually, this works. This like kind of switches it up for people. Um, I, I I really like that. And I think that's a really cool way to kind of go about um, research and development. <laughs> just putting things out there and just seeing how the community kind of reacts to things. Yeah, we've Is seen there- that a lot. Uh, I mean, even like Armor Royale, there's one, there's a new mode out right now as well. And yeah, I agree, Camille, like... The fact that they're able to play with these modes and see what sticks is, is really great. Because, I mean, who would have thought that Resurgence Island would last this long? I thought it was going to be like a month-long thing. Yeah. They remove it and then start working on the second map and introduce that. But, yeah, oh, 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 it's still there. And sorry, it's sorry, really, Malik. And, sorry, oh, sorry, Malik. I'm just going to say this really quickly. It, it, Resurgence is really good because then it also mm-hmm. pays attention to the 
hard, like the core COD fans that want sure. those quick matches. Yeah. And, you know, I have a lot of friends like that that are used to playing COD for years, years, years. They just want to jump in with their friends quickly and mm -hmm. jump out, right? Yeah. Um, so that's really good. I also want to mention something Caboose said um, with how, you know, now they know they have to use Modern Warfare's engine. Yeah. But they're still able to bring in all their different iterations. Yep. Yeah. A right. Call of Duty, and I think that's going to be what keeps Warzone really refreshing because we know there's always a new Call of Duty every mm -hmm. single year. How are they going to implement that story into what happens with the Warzone map with their sure. um, mm -hmm. So I'm excited about that. Yes, Malik. <laughs> no, you. That was exactly what I was going to say. Is that there isn't really another battle royale that has kind of like a bite size experience you know what i mean mm -hmm. something that is quick half the size about you know maybe a little bit more but something that you can just do easily to warm up just like kind of a quick fun you know one and done um the problem for me with warzone was that i was playing on pc and at launch and for many months after launch it was a uh, trying experience to play with friends on consoles and to do cross play and then you got the cheaters and then it was just a, a very rocky and bumpy experience but warzone is one of those games that i find myself re-downloading every now and then just to hop back in because i want to see all the new stuff that they've added i want to see how the game's changed and evolved and at the end of the day too it's call of duty it just feels good to play yeah like that at the core of it, they've well designed Verdansk like to a T. It's so good, and the fact that they keep adding content and it has that great gameplay feel of Call of Duty. I don't think that there is going to be a battle royale that kind of really beats that because Fortnite even now is becoming a niche battle royale. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I'm I'm trying to think back to Fortnite's prime, right? Like Fortnite yeah. was cool because I, you know, the building mechanic was a huge thing. All the collaborations with different companies and getting those skins and cosmetics uh, within mm -hmm. the game. But when I think of like events outside of like concerts and stuff like that, like events to the core gameplay, I can't think of too many for Fortnite. Whereas I feel like Warzone has events every single week that changes the gameplay or allows you to right. explore the game in another aspect it, if it is research okay. or something like that. You're so, not talking like an event like a Travis Scott concert, but no, rather I'm an event that like is a new a mode. Yeah, like right. Have jump into play because like I haven't I played a lot of Fortnite. So much just yeah. to watch concerts. Like, I, I, I haven't played Fortnite in a while. The last time I remembered that being something was like the Thanos thing that sure. they did. Yeah. And I remember that being a lot of fun, actually. That was that was huge and a lot um, of fun. Yeah, but I but and again, like I haven't played a lot of Fortnite, so I don't want to like speak out of turn in case like somebody out there is a massive yeah. Fortnite fan is like, well, actually, you yeah. know, um, but just in terms of like my memory and my like what I remember from the game, that's the last time I remember like a new mode that was in terms of gameplay, like gave you something new to play, not just something that was like a Travis Scott concert or the Galactus thing. Right. Yeah. yeah. Now, as some, oh, sorry, go ahead, Steve. No, I was just going to say, like going off of all this, I think, I think there are two kind of, it's, it's kind of separated where like Fortnite does succeed in having these events like the Thanos event, but they also yeah. have events that shift the gameplay entirely where they have the, if you look back at, uh, season one where they had the cube and then gravity would be altered and stuff That's like true. that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I, I just wish that Warzone kind of implemented something like that where map changes would alter how you how you go through a game, you know, like the dam breaking and then floods the, the canals and stuff like that. That would that and would I change how people play the game. But maybe through this nuclear launch, you know, we saw mm -hmm. the missile silos are now a part of Verdansk, right? Of maybe that is building up to that event. And I feel like there's so much more going in Warzone. They have to really think how the heck an event like that sure. would impact Verdansk. So I feel like it would take long. I do think that is the future of Verdansk and Warzone. I yeah, feel like sure. they have to alter, not change the map, I always want to go hang out in Verdansk <laughs> every night. Um, but maybe how Verdansk is like um, presented to everybody. 
Yeah. New, we just need a nuclear war and then turn Verdansk into a giant rust. That's there it. you go. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> but I was gonna I was gonna say is that Fortnite really has three pillars. And I'm personally I don't play Fortnite, but I've watched it from the esports side. Is mm-hmm. they've got their esports scene, they've got their cash cow marketing, and then they've got this weird I've talked to a lot of people, and Fortnite almost feels like a playground for development. They are always testing these new mechanics, these new ideas, bringing in new characters to try different stuff. And I think Fortnite has really shied away from the esports scene to kind of lean into the other two, because Mm -hmm. there's been this big exit where there's not as much money in the competitive scene anymore, and the competitive integrity of Fortnite has suffered because they have wanted to explore other avenues. Now, Call of Duty kind of is staying true to that, you know, their tried and true formula. And I think while map changes and stuff could be good, I don't think, I think that when Call of Duty suffers is when they try to do fundamental changes to the gameplay. Yeah. Jetpacks and exosuits. Sure. Uh, so, so, <laughs> oh my God, I, I hope we never go there again. I don't want to Never run. again. I don't, I don't want any of that. Please no, no. And, and it's like Apex is, is that is that niche. If you want yeah. that experience, you have Apex. So I don't think that Call of Duty really needs to lean into anything like that. I go back to Call of Duty also for the fact of it's Call of Duty. I can come back anytime and it's going to play the same. There might be new guns or a new event going on or something new within the maps that I have to learn. But mm. the, the gameplay at its core is the same. And that's one thing that I really love about about Call of Duty, and I think is one of the things that made it so successful. Yeah. Sure. It's, predict- yeah. it's predictable in the sense of you know exactly what you're getting into when you hop into Call of Duty. You know that you're going to be able to yeah. respawn or you're going to have a chance to respawn through yeah. going through the gulag, right? And I exactly. think for Warzone, it was really an eye-opener, I would say, for the developers and publisher to realize, like, okay, this is what Call of Duty is, right? Mm. Um, I, I feel like over the few years, uh, modern wars mar- sorry modern warfare modern was, I, I was like modern warfare uh, modern warfare is kind of like that as well when it launched i felt like they knew that's you know it was a real return for a lot of fans uh, back to what you love about call of duty yeah. mm. and with warzone releasing not too long after it was then this is also cool. This is also feels Call of Duty. That was my concern going into the Battle Royale, that it wouldn't feel like Call of Duty because um, you won't get that fast-paced play or you may not have a chance to uh, be revived or come back, right? Um, But Call of Duty handled that very well. So I'm very hopeful for not only the future of Warzone, but for the franchise. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I agree. No, and w- one last thing I wanted to bring up, and Malik, I, I agree with you completely. I think it's when it comes to like map changes that fundamentally change the game. I, again, one hundred percent agree. But then there's also like the fact that Activision kind of sets expectations up in a different way, where they say, "Okay, we are going to change the map in a fundamental way." Mm. Like the addition of the train, it didn't change the game completely, but it was a new way of like venturing the map but then they also bring in like the subway which no one uses yeah. and it, it's it, for me it feels like they're trying to shoehorn events like that into the game without necessarily thinking about well is this something that players even care about yeah because if they are going to stick to this is for dance you're coming in for the solid gameplay every single week like no matter what then they shouldn't be putting in sub the subway or blowing up the stadium because that sets ex- expectations up in a different way, right? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Oh my God, just know as, if there's any of those adjustments that do happen, don't go to that new place. But, like, but I see that's stadium, why... When they open oh, stadium, yeah. shipwreck, yeah. you just saw everybody drop there. Don't do it. When I when I used to be into Fortnite, that was the thing. It was like any time a new place got added to the map, don't go there for the yeah. first week. <laughs> you know? <laughs> you know? Like that's where everyone's going. But yeah, honestly, but for me, that's why like, you know, rather than changing up the map that everyone already likes substantially, I like the idea of a new map because that's where they can take some risks, try some new things. People, if they like it, they like it. If they don't, then okay. And this was the problem with something like Apex Legends because they made a new map, but then they got rid of the old one. And it was like, well, 
why would you do that? <laughs> you know, I liked King's Canyon. I miss King's Canyon, you know? And so like it, it got a lot of people matchmaking a bit more difficult. Well, that's what everyone kept saying. Um, and I think for a game like Apex Legends, maybe that could have been the case because mm -hmm. it's not as like massive of a fan base to the point where that they have like such a crazy population of people playing it to where you can have however many maps coming into rotation and they can like choose whatever. Sure. Um, but I think Warzone's big enough for that. I think Warzone is big enough to where they can have a second map with solos, duos, trios, quads being available to play. You know what I mean? Yeah. yeah. So I, I, think I don't know. Oh. So I'm not sure how familiar you guys are with Battlefield and when they tried to do their battle royale and how they had. Uh, were you guys familiar with Battlefield 4's uh, like test uh, like modes? Yeah. So I would really like to see Call of Duty have a a map that is literally just like a tester map. They just mm -hmm. try out dynamic weather, dynamic lighting, you know, sure. random yeah. events. Like just have a place where people almost like a test server. People mm -hmm. understand this map is always going to be changing and don't expect it to be perfect at yeah. all some crazy stuff's probably going to happen here but it could lead to some features that either get added into verdansk or contribute to making this map a, a good second map you know what i mean laying the foundation and testing out new things and seeing what they can do and push call of duty further but see mm. my hesitation with that i think a part of what makes warzone great is anticipating the changes um mm. you know everyone knows Make sure to download everything before that Tuesday because <laughs> there's going to be a patch and, you know, yeah. some updates and right. jumping in. Yes, although everyone's going to jump on Shipwreck. Everyone jump to the stadium um, to see what those changes are. I feel like if then you have a designated place for those changes, the charm of Verdansk is lost. What if, if it was more... Sense. What if it was a separate map where they just tested systems instead of like, you know, but if that the, makes think, sense? But the, but the or thing is, is that... like, I feel like when you get a call, like a war zone trailer, right? That something okay. new is coming. <laughs> it's that hype That's build. Up. Activision yeah. is really good at building hype. They've been yeah. doing it for decades, you know, like they you're know right. how to do that really well. And it plays so well into war zone because then you're like, oh my God, it, you know, is cold wars wait what is going on if they were to test systems on a map okay we know that they're testing like why are zombies on this random map <gasps> zombies are coming to war zone right like it kind of loses that hype factor to what we would expect in verdance right. um that's my personal opinion that's why i do like it you know them having like a mini map resurgence and it has that purpose of that mini map so you know it's different than Verdansk right. because it's smaller. It's not different just because of what's specifically happening, you know, in terms of like zomb if they're zombies or you know certain ru like supply runs that are happening, you know, like stuff like that. Um, mm -hmm. I, I think if they were to introduce a tester map, it has to have a purpose other than just testing. Yeah. Okay. Oh, that makes sense. Yeah. yeah. And you, that makes so much sense, too, because I remember the trailer for the first time that they brought Iron Banner uh, into Destiny 2. And mm. that was such a hype moment because it was like a hardcore PvP experience, something, you know, that you anticipate. And you're right. Activision is so good at getting people excited for their in-game event. So that makes a lot of sense. <laughs> Oh, 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 oh,